Oh my god. But I feel like it brightens up the under eye. Throw this on my face without looking because I think that's what I did in the video. <laughs> what was that blush application? This hurt my soul. The outro is so, so unbelievably awkward. I'm literally using my viewfinder for this. It wasn't a viewfinder. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm hoping the settings are slightly better today, although my camera seems wonky. I'm just gonna hope that's right. I am completely barefaced today because I had this idea last year to react to my first ever tutorial, but I've been re-watching a bunch of Robbie Christie videos recently, and I want to follow my first ever makeup tutorial. I'm going to talk through probably a few things as to why things are so badly produced. So if that's something... Oh, hello sweetie. Hi. I didn't used to have this, did I? I didn't have cut into options. No. Let's get into this video. Okay, so you're a bit closer. I'm hoping I'm not too washed out today. This is Everyday Natural Makeup Routine from the 4th of March 2018. I'm so nervous about this. Okay. So I completely forgot to do an intro. Oh my god, sorry. I forgot about that sofa. That sofa was a hand-me-down from my aunt. And when we got rid of it, because I, ha I literally had to take it apart because it was so incredibly heavy. And it's literally scratched the brickwork in the hallway of the block of flats that I live. I, do I didn't realise that's how old this was. Okay, this is mustn't have been long before I got rid of it though. Because I got my new sofa before... Hello. So I must have got my new sofa, it must have been by August, because I was doing my Malaysia series. So this is the finished look. I have actually been eating since, so that's why my lip gloss has kind of disappeared. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is just like a five minute, no makeup makeup look, really. That is not a natural makeup routine. The eye makeup is too much for a natural makeup routine. The face makeup's pretty natural, but not the eye makeup. That is like an orange smoky eye with very deep black mascara. It's something I do on a regular basis and I thought maybe you guys might enjoy it, so... Sorry for the really strange intro. But I hope you enjoy. I forgot how bright my hair used to be. I've been considering going back to really deep burgundy hair, but I forgot how bright I used to have it. Nonetheless. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is prime. And oh my god, you can see one of my animal's cages. I think that must have been Buster's cage behind me. The reason it is so incredibly bright, you wouldn't believe it, but that's with... That's my window that's here with the blind down. It was that bright. And that's why I didn't film the opposite way around because otherwise I would have just been so incredibly blown out. I also used to wear a lot of rings. And I'm going to use the Soap and Glory, the Fab Pore 3 in 1 Oil Control Serum. It mattifies, primes, and refines. And this is one of my go to primers. Which is funny because I haven't used this primer in fucking years. This is somehow still in my collection. I thought I'd finished this. This is probably dried out. I'm getting like a tiny bit, hang on. I can see there's like sporadic little bits still in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was genuinely expecting this to have been dried out. I just remember that this used to keep my oils at bay the best out of every primer I had. Even my Benefit one I used at the time. Put this in my oily areas. I actually used to use it on days I didn't even wear makeup because I thought, oh my god, I feel so dried out already. It's like putting loose powder directly on your face. You immediately just feel super, super dried out. Not in a bad way, it feels smooth. Like you've put just a light layering of loose powder on your face. I've never felt a primer like it. It can collect a little bit under foundations if you're not careful, if you don't let it completely dry. But it is so, so good. I didn't remember that. <laughs> So I put that in a lot of the areas where I have uh, pores and oiliness. So the next thing I'm going to do is... I keep reaching behind me in this video because I didn't have a table. I still don't have a table. I still don't have a proper setup. I had all my products behind me, which wasn't the best idea. I probably should have just put them like on the floor or something. You constantly see me just reaching behind. Is While that dries, um, is Prime My Face. So I'm going to use the Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer by Wet n Wild because why wouldn't I? I use it every single day. I've actually started to use that recently. I forgot to grab that. Let me go get that. I've had to start using this again because my Eden, my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer has basically run out. But the only thing I find with this, I always squeeze out way too much. It's been a while since I've used this and I forget I don't actually need that much. 
I have to be really careful not to get it in my eyelashes because I wore their really shit eyelashes that day. But also I can't blend it out with a brush like I can with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer because I then can't use that brush the following day because all of the bristles will be completely stuck together. That was a waste of product. <laughs> okay, what do I do next? The next thing I'm going to do is just conceal a bit of my face now that that has dried. So I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I actually found that in my collection, but I have a feeling I haven't got any left. So what do I do with this? Hi, you need to come down. Seems like a lot, I know, but... So I'm just going to take this Eco Tool sponge and just blend. Oh my god, I never, ever, ever blend out concealer with a sponge anymore. I grabbed a sponge because I saw that I actually put what brushes and stuff I use. Ooh! I have still got some, amazingly. Whoa. <laughs> Put that on my hand for a second. I haven't used this in years. I'm gonna kind of do it the way I used to, which was basically using it as foundation. Although I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with it. I remember using the Catrice one though in this video. When did I use the Catrice one? Why am I so freaking white all of a sudden? Oh no, this is basically dried. That's not good. What am I back in with the camera? My concealer's basically dried down. Oh crap. I forgot that this dries really quickly. I'm gonna use my finger right on my inner corner just because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there with a sponge. Why is this so pale? I think that's a bit better. We're just gonna hope for the best now. Okay, what's next? Please tell me a little bit more concealer. Next I'm gonna use a concealer. So I'm gonna start with my Wet n Wild uh, photo focus concealer in light ivory. Did I not use that under my eyes? Oh shit, well. I also have the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Porcelain. This is just to cover up my dark circles. Okay, yeah, so I use the Catrice one for my dark circles. I actually have a better shade now. I have Light Natural. I'm gonna use that one. I'm not gonna be able to see it because for some reason my camera thinks I'm a bit of paper. I've changed the settings like three times. That covers so much better. Because I have very large dark circles. Any kind of makeup tutorials? Because I don't think of myself as a makeup artist or anything. Still don't. I'm <laughs> gonna blend that in again. So I'm now gonna use the liquid camouflage. Wait, do I use both? So I'm gonna use that to highlight my face a little bit and I'm also going to use a little bit just to cover some of my horrible skin. That was not clear. I used my wet and wild under my eye and I think the Catrice over my face. Okay, as I'm using that, I'm gonna use it the opposite way around. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild. This one's in Fair Neutral, which is like the new version. I'm gonna use this to brighten up my center on my face. God, this has got a paint smell, Jesus. I don't need a lot because I already put like three concealers on. I'm brighten the face. This feels unnecessary. Next, I'm gonna be powdering my face. So there's a couple of options here. <gasps> oh my God, I just noticed that's t-shirt i'm wearing is one of the there was this like emo disney collection one of the princesses with like tattoos and stuff all over her arm i have my Too faced primed and poreless skin smoothing pressed powder i don't have that anymore if you wanted a bit more coverage but i feel like the concealer sort of gave me that but if you did want some more coverage i have the rimmel stay matte long lasting pressed powder this one is in transparent i i bought that from the age of like 13 to the age of 20 122. I don't use that. It's so drying. And also one of my absolute favourite powders is the Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder. I don't have that anymore. I'm going to be using the Too Faced one today and if I really think I need coverage anywhere then I will use my Rimmel. I don't think I need coverage. I don't have that Wet n Wild one anymore but I've got the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder which I basically use as a powder foundation. I mean I haven't used it in a really long time but I definitely hit pants. Uh, I also have this e.l.f. little brightening powder. HD under eye setting powder in sheer. This is meant to really brighten up the under eyes, so I'm also going to use that. I don't have that anymore. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use a Too Faced Loose Ethereal Setting Powder, because it's kind of similar. So, because I want to pack on a little bit of powder, I'm going to use more of a densely packed brush. And this is the Wet n Wild Powder Brush with my Too Faced. So sorry, I'm going over the whole of my face before I set my under eyes, okay? You also want to set your eyeshadow primer. I forgot I used to set my eyeshadow. I'm just going to grab, this is an essence brush, this is a really cool, I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got, a, actually, funnily enough, a Disney collection. This is the Mulan brush, so I'm just going to, I guess, 
throw this on my face without looking because I think that's what I did in the video. It's amazing how I've changed cameras like three times and by cameras I mean I used my phone for like the first four years and now I've got a proper camera. I'm paler than I was when I was using phones. I really need to sort out the settings. So I'm just gonna throw apparently that over there. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. Uh, like I said, I don't feel like I need any more coverage. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. under eye. You don't necessarily need to do this, but I feel like it brightens up the under eye. Oh my god! No, I don't. I use a big fat powder brush to put powder under my eye. Maybe at fucking 26, not 33. Jesus. Um, this is not going to go well. <laughs> See, I would normally take... I actually take this brush all of the time. This is the Morphe uh, JH30 because it's small and you can get like right under the eye. Or, you know, something smaller. Anything. I had so many brushes back then, but I used this. Why? <laughs> I think that was just laziness. I'm gonna be really careful. <laughs> this is not gonna work. I also have my have to have my hand like really close to the barrel. Oh my god, my under eyes don't look great. Which means you get the most coverage and most pigmentation, and it's just not flattering. Oh my god, this is so awkward. <laughs> I hope it looks awkward because it feels bloody awkward. What's next, Chloe from four years ago? Really, really nicely. So now I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna use my Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette. This is in Ashy Radiant. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. highlighting. Okay, I'm just going to use the contour brush I'm currently using. I actually got this brush for free in one of their little bundles. You know, you spend £25, you get some free stuff. If you put a code in that's on their homepage. Wow, that was just thrown on, huh? I followed this part of my jaw and I went here to give myself a bit more of a jawline, I guess. And I, I literally just whack it on like that i mean to be fair i think this is a this is a more compact brush than that one so i'm getting more pigment but wow i really didn't think about blending throw it on willy now and it's just like yeah that'll do <laughs> thank god i'm better at makeup now <laughs> apparently i just leave it unblended like that i could never now next is blush so i have a couple of options these essence ones are really, really nice. I still have all of these. I also, I've added to my collection since. Uh, I have Satin Love, which looks like this. I have this matte one, which is in Peach Me Up. I haven't used this yet. That wasn't peach, that was pink. I also have their matte blush in Rose Me Up. So I think I'm going to mix uh, the Rose Me Up matte and the... Okay. okay, so I didn't say, but I was going to use Rose Me Up and the Peach one. I'll use the Rose and the Blossom Me Up that I've got now. Every single one of these, the thing comes off. I'm just going to grab a mixture of these. How do I apply it? Okay, so we're going to mix these two together. I have this sort of Nars Kabuki kind of brush. Look how much pigment came off on that. I'm going to tap. Okay. <laughs> what was that blush application? Whoa, <laughs> I never normally tap off blush anymore. My nose look bad. So now I like bring my blush up this way. So I like take my blush up like here, lift this part of my cheek. But apparently I just used to throw it on like this and then call it a day. <laughs> I haven't used Essence blushes for a while. I feel like I would have actually preferred them without tapping them off. We're gonna move on to highlight. I also have this Wet n Wild color icon bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. This is a huge pan. It's really really dusty i will say that and i also have just because i really really love highlight and i've been using this so much recently i have the hourglass ambient metallic strobe lighting palette what i'm going to do i'm going to use the anastasia a23 brush i actually use that brush for contouring now okay so wet and wild color icon in reserve your cabana oh my god it is so dusty brush and this wet and wild I don't normally tap this off because it's just kind of like a sheen to the skin. I say I don't normally tap it off and then I tapped it off a lot. I need to tap it off a little bit. There's a lot of crap on that. I'm going to be honest. I think some of this is the highlight I was using before. That's okay because I put like a really intense highlighter on afterwards anyway. I automatically took that under my brow bone, forgetting that I didn't used to do that. 
Oh well, I don't think that's going to be the be all end all. I also never put my highlight on after my blush anymore. Can you see that? I'm also going to put a little bit of this down my nose. And then just for a little bit of extra pop, I'm going to use um, this shade here. Right on. Just right on there. I never do that. I always just mix them all together. So for brows, I'm going to be using this Essence Make Me Brow um, Eyebrow Gel Mascara Brownie Brows. I have quite full brows. Not really full, but pretty full. So for natural kind of brows, I'm just going to brush this through. This hurt my soul. I can't believe that I checked the description box of this fucking video and realised I didn't use a brow pencil because I used to have fuller brows. I now shave off the tail of my brow so this is gonna look really fucking weird i need to go to the shops after this so i need to gonna have to be a couple of touch-ups yeah this isn't my favorite tinted brow gel anymore because i feel like it's a little too goopy oh my god it lo that looks terrible i need a pencil now there's just so much product on this little wand it is a super natural natural look i need a pencil man this is bad I'm also going to put on a lip scrub just because my lips feel kind of chapped and by the time we get to them I just want to make sure they're in good condition. I don't use lip scrubs anymore so I don't have those lip scrubs. They were really convenient but I don't have that anymore. So next is eyes and and I have quite a few different options. So the one I go for all the time if I want to just do a simple matte everyday look is my Too Faced um, Just Peachy Mattes palette, which I will be using today. I love how I still had the box. I still keep the boxes of stuff every now and then for like a little bit. Like I still keep my Pat McGrath blushes in there because it, I don't know, like I feel like people spend time and effort on packaging and it also keeps actual shell of the palettes and things like that cleaner for longer if you're keeping it inside the, the boxes sometimes. I don't always do it. If it's just a really standard box, I get rid of it obviously. But if it's a, a really cute box, I'll, I'll, I'll still keep it for a little bit, but nowhere near as long. I kept this for like two years. Okay. Alternatives. The Mega Match eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette by Technic. And I also have the eyeshadow, uh, the Mega Nudes by Technic. So these two are pretty good. But a bit dusty. And then one I was using before I found my holy grail was the NYX lingerie. I also have NYX ultimate shadow palette in warm neutrals. The reason I show like four eyeshadow palettes in this is because I didn't used to follow makeup tutorials unless I had the relevant palette and I felt like maybe other people felt like they couldn't necessarily do that even if they had other palettes that may have similar shades. So that's why I tried to show multiple affordable palettes because this was one of the only high-end palettes I had at the time. I wanted to show other options. So this is why I show like four unnecessary palettes. I really like these Primark eyeshadow brushes because they're really fluffy so you can really buff out creases but it's also slanted so you can use sort of the corners to really get in there. I don't use those brushes anymore. I actually use them for concealer if I'm going to use them at all. So I'm just grabbing a Wet n Wild brush, which I also used to use a lot, which I don't, I still have a bunch of these, but I'm tempted to declutter these as well because I never, ever, ever reach for them. They're not bad eyeshadow brushes, I just have loads of others that I prefer now. So that's what I'm going to be using today. So really quickly, I'm going to be using the Peach Meringue just to cover up any imperfections in my eyes. I'm going to bring that all the way up to the brow bone. I mean, I already I'm said it, but sure. Oh my god, I don't think you can see that with this eyeshadow primer. I think it's because I put powder on it before. I never normally have this issue. It is really crusty. This side, smooth. This side, crusty. Okay, I don't think eyeshadow is going to look good on the other eye, but we're going to try. So one of the looks I really love doing is mixing these two together, which is peach tea and peach cobbler. So I mix those two together and just go in to my crease. That was so, so haphazard. I'm gonna take a little bit more time <laughs> to blend them. I looked so aggressive in that video. Whereas now I'm like angling my eye, trying to see where the best possible position is. Going in so lightly where the bristles are only just touching my eye. 
And then I'm also going to take both of those shades directly on my lid. So maybe that's why I was a bit more aggressive because I was going to throw this all over the lid anyway. I haven't done a peachy, warm eyeshadow look in fucking ages. I am all about cool tones. Okay, so now that my eyes are completely covered with mattes, I'm going to use Peach Tart, which is here, with the angle part of the brush. I'm going to tap it out. And I'm going to put that deep into my socket. Oh my god, I had so many brushes. Why didn't I just grab a different brush? I'm going to grab a different brush for this one. How is that a natural look if I was going in with a deep, dark shade? Like, seriously. This eye is so much smoother than this eye. I don't know what happened to this eye. I'm also going to take that on the outer corner. This is not a natural look if you're taking a deep dark shade and put it on your pale ass eyes. I'm just roasting myself. Just to deepen it ever so slightly. And then I'm going to use peach meringue just ever so lightly just to blend out any harsh lines. Peach meringue. I mean to be fair I was more careful than my previous self so I don't really need that clean up. And then I'm also going to use peach butter which is the, the shade below peach meringue and I'm going to put that in my inner corners of the lid Oh, I was being that sort of person, okay, okay that's nice, it's pretty this is definitely more natural than what I'm doing in this video I was also trying to show that you didn't have to have like loads of brushes. I'm going to use Fresh Picked, which is down here. I'm going to tap it off and I'm going to put that directly under my lower lash line. You can take the Catrice Prime and Fine. You can take the Catrice Prime and Fine highlight and just. Again, this is quick makeup. Oh wow, I was using my finger, okay. I mean, I'd rather be more precise with a pencil brush nowadays, but sure. I never, ever, ever use my finger to do in a corner highlight. Why would I do that? This was also before I learnt my trick of brightening everything up. Okay, super white. So if you really want to, you can use a brown eyeliner. I like to use this Marc Jacobs Rococo. I've been using this a lot more recently. You don't want to pull it all the way in because otherwise it's really deep. I was sad as fuck when I found out mine had dried out last year. Uh, I'm grabbing the uh, Kathleen Lights in Il Maquillage pencil. No idea the shade name. I hate when people do this. They have collaborations or they do eyeliners on lip liner colours and they just don't put the colour name on the actual barrel. They just have the shade here. It's so annoying. Okay, so then mascara. I've got this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I've been adoring. But as I keep using high-end products, I'm going to be using this Essence, the False Lashes Mascara. I adore this. I haven't used Too Faced Better Than Sex in years, like literally years. I don't have that Essence Mascara. It's a really good mascara, but I have the Essence I Need a Miracle, so. Which is not very natural. Probably would be better off with the brown, but. Okay, I didn't bother to curl my lashes apparently. I wasn't expecting my lashes to stay out very well. I think I have super long lashes. I doubt I went in with two coats. Natural <laughs> makeup routine. So we're just gonna do, like literally just throw this on real quick. I actually really like this eye makeup. I should do this more often. How crazy is that mascara? Okay, and then lastly is lipstick. Oh my god, that glitter bag. I don't even know where that, I think I had to throw that away because it was like, Falling apart. It's Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Sellout. I forgot to mention it because it was in my handbag and I use this all the time. That's completely dried out. I don't have that anymore. I also have this um, Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner, the shade OG Lolita. That's way too pink. I never used that. I then obviously have my Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in Be My Baby. Holy fuck, I forgot about those liquid lips. I used to use those constantly, especially when I used to go to family, because they lasted a really, really good time. I also have this e.l.f. Praline Lip Crayons. I have this e.l.f. Uh, lip liner. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Uh, my Too Faced Peach Kiss Moisture Matte Longwear Lipstick. 
in Sunday Fun Day. They also have this e.l.f. Um, lip liner. I think it's just called Nude. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken. I then have the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Bombshell. I also have this uh, Gigi Maybelline New York Lip Liner in McCall. Why am I going through so many unnecessary lip products? Also... This was just almost all of my lip colours, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why I showed all these. But the one I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comment. I don't know why people don't talk about these. I don't know where that is. So I'm just going to use this Everlasting Lip Crane. Oh, this is actually OG Lolita. This is actually a very similar shade. I'm just blending it out a little bit, just so it's not so bright. So I have two lip glosses. Well, I'm gonna, I want to put this on because I haven't put this on in years. Just because I don't have that lip liner anyway. And at least I talk about it. It's actually a nice nude. My lips don't look that far off, to be fair. And I'm not really a lip gloss person. These aren't lip so, glosses, these are lip oils. So I'm going to use the Nude Kiss today. They're really comfortable, they're not sticky. I think they've recently came out with lip pumping lip glosses. These do go. Mm. I forgot how friggin incredibly smooth these are. Oh my god, these feel amazing. Just r they feel nourishing. I haven't used these in years, literally years. And yes, I know I probably shouldn't use them because they're expired. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> and lastly, setting spray. Um, this is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I have so little left. This is just sitting in my drawer, waiting to be finished. I guess that's it. So I hope this was a little bit helpful. It was just kind of like a quick makeup tutorial. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this. I would really, really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want. I would love to have some more of you. But I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and... If you would like more tutorials, please let me know in the comments. But I hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye. God, that outro is so, so unbelievably awkward. Oh, bloopers! I'm really sorry about the light. So. <laughs> There's no difference! I'm still dropping shit. Yeah, it's still broken. Why are people wanting to be loud when I'm filming? And I have really hit pan on this. I'm literally using my viewfinder for this. It wasn't a viewfinder. It was my phone. <laughs> I wish I was sponsored by Elf. I would talk them up. Yeah, I'm never going to get sponsored by Elf. <laughs> Apparently, I just use Wet n Wild all the time. Yeah, Wet n Wild and Elf were my favourite brands because they were super, super affordable and I got to try out loads and loads and loads of stuff. It looks like I don't have... The blind down but i do <laughs> when did that fall down i sit in the most uncomfortable positions to film no different <laughs> i'm currently sitting on my foot to give me a little bit more <laughs> a little bit more height i'm getting further and further down this sofa <laughs> it's falling apart this is what the makeup looks like it actually looks quite nice i just a better application of powder a Something better for my brows because my brows look super sparse. This lips are a bit much. And some bronzer because I look even more pale. But otherwise, it's not bad. Though the cringiness of that video was hard to watch. So I wanted to show it on my phone uh, so you can actually see what this looks like. I added a bit of a uh, brow product, so a bit of a brow pencil and a bit of bronzer. Not that you can see it much because I'm testing out a new one and it's not super big. The eyes are actually really nice. You can see now how textured that is compared to this one, which is nice and smooth. I did change out the lip. I actually put on House Labs lip liner. I had to also put on, I forgot to mention, my face felt super, super, super dry. That Glam Glow setting spray, I'm super shaky because I haven't eaten yet. Um, that Glam Glow setting spray did nothing. So I had to put the Bear With Me NYX setting spray on. That's on my favorites. So much better. Like my face feels a lot nicer. You can also see what I mean about my nose because I put concealer down my nose, which I never do. It almost looks like I completely missed it. I went over my nose with another powder foundation as well and I still have 
issues so do you know what i'm just gonna go out and not worry about it because it's makeup no one's gonna fucking notice the eyes look really really nice i need to use this eyeshadow palette more often not terrible but i've done better anyway if you enjoyed me reacting to this whole video please let me know by giving this a like and subscribe if you feel like it i'd really appreciate it um if there's anything else you want me to react to or go back through from my channel please let me know i've been doing youtube for over four years now so i'm sure there's stuff i could go through but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you all in the next one bye